Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel once again and yeah we're still rocking the orange uh, today I wanted to do a video to show you what I find are my travel essentials when it comes to anything beauty related so first uh, also before I do a five minute intro again like I've been doing lately um, I will be jumping in and if you have not watched any of my previous videos I am currently pre-filming um, I've been pre-filming the last five or four videos this is actually the last one and it's really sad that by the time this goes up I will actually have returned from my holidays but nonetheless this is the last weekend before my holiday at the moment now that I'm filming so I wanted to show you what I'm actually gonna take with me so first of all I am gonna take my brushes um, now I'm not taking all of my brushes I find that I am quite minimalistic when it comes to brushes so that's coming with me if you see a bag there that is moving is because that is actually already kind of the bag that I'm putting the things away the bag plastic bag where I'm putting the things away that I want to take with me on holiday so I don't have to pack all uh, in a rush on the last day um, then of course I'm taking makeup remover now I do apologize I will be grabbing the things at random they're all in front of me and that is just what I'm thinking so I'm sorry there is not gonna be any particular order it's just gonna be random so the next thing I'm taking is the Garnier um, skin active micellar oil infused cleansing water It's for dry and sensitive skin um, it does say that it removes even waterproof makeup cleanses and nourishes and no rinsing is required and it's for face eyes lips and not greasy dermatologically and something tested uh, it is 400 milliliters or it should equal to 200 uses now uh, I will say that I really like the smell of this and I do feel like it does remove the makeup really really well um, the only problem I have with this is the fact that when I'm trying to rub off my mascara which is so stubborn and so difficult to get off for some reason um, it does sting a little bit on where I have the most delicate skin on my face um, but other than that it's really good I do have really sensitive skin so I would recommend to try it out and if I didn't mention it does actually smell really well and it lasts for quite a while now next super super important another thing it's sunscreen we're going to Florida we're going to Disneyland which or Disney World which means that we are gonna be out for most of the day I if you haven't noticed I'm really really pale and I burn really easily so yeah SPF 50 for me and I also bought a separate SPF for my face because I have found that whenever I have used this my skin hates it and breaks out so um, I'm trying to use a product on my face that's actually not going to break me out. So we'll see how that goes. Um, then, of course, I know that I could just simply buy them when in America, but uh, I just like to have them with me. I don't want to have to worry about whether I'm going to be able to find them on the first few days. And that is the... Uh, cotton wool pads this one is from Tesco it doesn't matter where you get it from it's pretty much all more or less the same now I know that this is not the most economically friendly product because it's one use and then we throw it away um, you can use of course flannels that are of course reusable and just keep on washing them however usually <laughs> I just want to get rid of, get rid of makeup really quickly and I don't want to have to worry about bringing flannels with me this is just me being lazy I absolutely agree to the fact that is absolute laziness but it's it's handy to have them on hand so these are coming with me then on kind of the same 
kind of in the same box i'm also taking these uh, um, cotton buds um I mean, do I need to explain? Cotton buds, I, I don't know, I think they're quite self-explanatory. Also, I like to use them for taking um, taking off fallout I get under the eye when I'm applying makeup. Okay, next one is actually another brush that I don't know why I didn't put it in with the other brushes. Maybe because it's too big and I feel like I do need to wash it before I actually take it with me. Um, this is a really old Art Deco um, brush. Uh, it's a kabuki brush. It looks like this. Um, then I'm taking, of course, my um, moisturizing cream. I mentioned this in every video, so I'm not going to go into that, into that one. Um, same one for this one. This uh, little fella here is your deco eyeshadow base. I use it every day, so of course I'm taking it with me. Um, I know it's going to be really, really hot in Florida, so I am not actually sure how much of foundation I'm going to be wearing on a daily basis. But I'm thinking when, if, when and if we decide to go out, perhaps in the evenings, when it cools down a little bit, I will be most likely wanting to put on foundation. So I'm taking my Stay and True Revlon Color Stay um, Foundation. This is in SPF 20 and 110 Ivory. It is for normal to dry skin, this one. They also have one for oily to combination skin. It's going to be hot and apparently it's quite wet in the air in Florida so I'm definitely taking my NYX Dewy Finish setting spray um, I am running rather low on this so I will definitely make sure sure that I repurchase and stock up on these because they don't sell them here in stores even though they were supposed to get NYX in boots however all the boots that are located around me are too small to actually sell NYX products so lucky me then i am definitely taking my favorite compact um powder which is the manhattan in transparent um it is their soft compact powder um, for a natural look and this is my favorite setting powder then i am taking i i have been really good with not trying to take too much makeup with me because i know that i might end up wearing a lot of makeup every day but at the same time there's also a chance of me not wearing a lot or any makeup at all so i want to make sure that i don't take too much and i know that for some of you that don't really wear a lot of makeup this might seem a lot but for me that is quite minimalistic <laughs> um so I'm only taking one highlighter with me and the highlighter that's gonna go with me to America will be the Flexitarian uh, Colourpop um, highlighter um, It's their Super Shock highlighters and I don't really like this one so that's definitely coming with me so I'm taking obviously my lash curler and my tweezers because I will definitely need those and that's the one I come back with bushy eyebrows um, and I'm super proud that I have actually only four lipsticks and I am quite quite proud of that uh, one of them is going to be the stay matte liquid lip color from Rimmel London and it's in the color 700 be my baby um, then the next one that I want to take with me is the Gerard cosmetic lipstick in uh, 1995 and it looks like this it's kind of a darker mauve kind of a nude so that's coming with me as well then I want to take the Revlon uh, matte uh, ultra HD matte lip color in 655 HD kisses basers um, and looks like this and then the la last lipstick I will take is on its last legs uh, so I do hope that it will last me a little bit longer uh, it is the Jeffree Star Unicorn Blood Liquid Lipstick and then, 
Um, I'm only taking one eyeliner with me because I really don't see the reason why I would need any more than that and that is the Catrice Eye Matic Dip Liner in Waterproof. It looks like this and yeah that will be coming with and then the Maybelline Lash Sensational Waterproof Mascara as well. Again, I don't see a reason why I would need two, so I'm only taking one. I will also be taking two liners and two other eye products that um, I am trying to use more. Um, and that will be the Sleek um, Lip Liner that is supposedly waterproof and smudge proof in the color Raisin 293. And then the ColourPop uh, liner, um, they're called the Cream Gel Liners in Crybaby. Um, and it's a very light lavender color. Almost second to last are the collection Glen Crystals Dazzling Gel Liner um, in Cosmetic Star 16. And then one for when I'm just feeling lazy and I just want to slap something on real quick is going to be the Sleek Eye Art Precision Liquid Eye Color in the color 1140 sh Shura sh Shura 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 Surrealism Surrealism um, and it's kind of like a quite it looks quite cold almost on camera as I said the color balance is off a little bit which is why my hair looks almost oh wrong side which is why my hair looks quite yellowy even though it's it's not it's quite orange um, but anyway um, this color is oh there we go it's kind of like a rich chocolatey but it also has some reddish in there and then the last thing is the eyeshadow palettes what do you take on holiday what I usually do is I take the smaller palettes with me that are more travel friendly because I feel like it's less likely for them to break. Um, so I will take with me the Kat Von D um, Little Sinner True Romance Eyeshadow Palette. Um, it looks like this and the colors are... Um, quite neutral other than that rusty red there at the bottom then i'm taking the lorac pro mini from the blue palette and it is i if you see in my previous videos you might have seen it before it has three neutrals more or less in here so that will come in handy for again just like easier kind of a look plus it's most likely that i'm gonna be using this color here which is called cream every morning because it's most likely going to be the only color that's going to be light enough for me for, to put it under the eyebrows then i am a little bit undecided to be quite honest because i have two palettes <laughs> that i didn't realize how similar they look and the first palette i am considering to take is the 12 and b morphe palette this is a 12 pan palette it's quite quite compact as you can see it's probably no bigger than my hand it actually fits in quite well and then the mm, color pop you had me at hello eyeshadow palette and it looks like this probably about same size actually yeah i was not mistaking just to compare them so they're both 12 pan shadows with basically neutral colors in here now um don't be deceived by the fact that there is different background because this packaging is black and this one is purple to be quite honest other than this purple that's in the palette i think that the colors are very very similar so i think that i will definitely have more than enough if i just take one of this with me I do feel that actually the ColourPop palette perhaps is a little bit more versatile. So what I want to do, and I've done it every time when I traveled, is I take my Z palette, that full with shadows that I've depotted, and I take my small Z palette. And what I do is I have a look 
at the palette that I have already decided that I am taking and look for colors that I would miss the most if I didn't have them with me from what I have available. So let's have a look. So this is a baked eyeshadow from Catrice or Essence. This one and this one are two colors from the um, Makeup Revolution, from one of the Makeup Revolutions palette. This is a single from the Makeup Revolution, I, as I feel like, or is it I Love Makeup? One or the other one. Um, this one is actually H&M color that I want to try out some more. Um, this is a color from a, was it a Manhattan eyeshadow palette I feel like and that's all there is left so I really want to use it up. This was a Revlon single. This is a Manhattan black eyeshadow. You can use wet or um, dry as well as this blue actually because it's a baked eyeshadow and this one is a yabble um, I think they're called um, it's tiny 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 it's only one or two pounds but you really don't get a lot of product and this gray um, I don't even know <laughs> what the brand is called to be quite honest Vimto or something it wasn't Vimto uh, and I do have a feeling that I will be taking the Zulu palette as well. I am actually super excited. Yeah, guys, this is all. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that you're having a lovely time whenever you're watching this. Might be morning, afternoon, evening or night. And uh, yeah, uh, I will see you in my next video. Hopefully. Bye.